I want to talk to you guys about beauty and complexity. This is one of the simplest necklaces I've ever made, and yet I find it pretty elegant, and I know a lot of people would love it as a cute little accent on their neck. The key to elegance in simplicity is to make every single curve purposed at the angle you want and the tightness you want. And I can't overemphasize tightness. And how do you do that? You do that with two very specific tools. Practice and mistakes. That's it. There's no shortcut. You gotta make a lot, a lot of pieces. You gotta mess up a lot. You gotta learn from your mistakes. And I would add a third one, if there is a third one, is muscle. Don't be timid with the wire. Force that wire to go the way you want. What's the worst that could happen is you learn that you're forcing it in a direction it doesn't want to go and it could break, it could snag, it could stick out and be dangerous, in which case you can't sell the piece or use it, trust me, you should not. It could be a mess and it could look ugly. Who cares? Do it. Muscle it. Do this. Break it. Snag it. Make it stick out. Make it a mess. Make it ugly. Don't sell it. Just learn. And as you learn, with your practice and your mistakes, you will get tighter and more elegant. And you will get better. And pretty soon you'll learn things that are far beyond any of the simple things that I'm teaching. And you'll develop your own style and your own patterns. And as you get good at those patterns, you'll be able to knock them out really fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces that you made following your pattern, doing it faster and faster. And each time getting a little bit tighter and a little bit more elegant. And people will start to say, oh, that's really cool. But you're not going to get it by being sad, and you're not going to get it by giving up. You're going to get it by a lot of mistakes. So do these lots of mistakes. And start with simple things. Try to get your angles really tight on a really simple piece. Learn the difference. I, right now, I can tell you, my, my brain immediately can tell the difference. When there's a piece of wire sticking out and it has to come around a loop or something, I can tell you the difference between a half a millimeter and how much wire I have to tuck it just right. Because just the right amount will tuck right where I want it to go. Too much, it won't, it'll be sticking out too much. And too little, it won't make its way all the way around. Half a millimeter, that's how precise my uh, my eyes and my brain are now with certain pieces, but that's not that's not stressful. That's a happy thing because I'm confident because I've done it thousands of times. So go and do it thousands of times, and as long as you don't have a wire sticking out to hurt someone, try selling and giving away what you think are mistakes. You think they're kind of okay, but they're not perfect. Use them. Don't throw them out. And if you absolutely get frustrated and take apart a piece, go to some of the videos where I show you how you can take recycled wire and still turn it into something cool, like a crazy barbed wire ring with all kinds of messed up kinked wire. That looks so cool. It looks like you meant to do it all rough like that. Okay, just a friend, friendly reminder, you guys. Practice and mistakes. Do it. I believe in you. How simple is this piece? It's actually incredibly tiny. Look at it next to my pinky nail. Somebody picked out a necklace almost exactly like this out of about seven other necklaces that had really cute charms because 
the charms were factory made and this is the only one that was handmade and it's so it was something they hadn't seen anywhere else and they picked that necklace i almost didn't put it up because it was too simple ha huh. guess i learned right keep creating cool stuff guys you are the best see you soon